Good morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time of the day you're watching this video, Farm Family. This is Nico here with Our Brown Farmhouse. Mama, Egypt, Sahara, and even Baby Pharaoh are going to be out here shortly. And here is our project for today. So, in a previous video, Natalie mentioned that it's time to get the goslings outside. That's right. We had six gosling eggs. We had four make it all the way through to pit phase. We had three that were able to successfully get out of their egg. And one unfortunately began to pip, but it didn't make it all the way out. We have three goslings and y'all, they are going on two weeks old and the growth the growth rate of the goslings is crazy. They've probably, they've definitely, definitely doubled in size, but probably more. So we need to get them out of the brooder that they've outgrown and outside. So I came over here for my gorilla cart. So I'm about to grab that and uh, get our day started. Quick check on Elvis and Priscilla though. There's our guy Elvis and his lady Priscilla. Yeah, you tell him Elvis. So I just put down a ton of mealworms in there for them. I've checked their food. They have two waterers. Those are both clean and good to go. So they can have a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, they'll just snack on their mealworms. And over here, let's see. Yeah, you can see the water is full and clean. Their food. Y'all, we've had so much rain. Um, so much, in fact, that the pool cover, I need to get the water off of it again. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is it's doing great. That right there is doing really well. Oh, you know what? I came over here for the gorilla cart. It can show you how much rain we've had in the past two days. That's two days worth of rain, probably about three inches. Crazy. So the reason I have the uh, gorilla cart is I'm going to use it to help me transport the chicken coop that we have over to the shop area so Natalie can do her project, which I'll let her explain. So let's get that done. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Alright guys, so Edith and I, and Nico We're gonna sand it down And fix it up You can see it needs some TLC um, And then we're gonna paint it But we're also gonna make sure that we predator proof it For the gosling um, and on this side, we're going to attach the door for them like at night. So they can Which is, it's right there. We're going to reattach it. We've got to add some more hinges. Um, but what we're going to do is make this space bigger to where they can have more run room um, because they're growing pretty quickly. So we want to make sure that they have space to be able to eat grass. Um, but this is light enough. It took two of us to pick it up over the fence just because it wouldn't fit through the door. But this is light enough if I'm home or Nico's home one of us to continuously move it. You could drag we it. We need more grass, um, so we can just drag it through the field and it'll be fine to so make sure they have fresh grass. Yeah. All right, and what was your idea about the sides? Um, and then what I was just telling Nico, um, because we're getting a lot of rain, what I want to do is add more like panels um, to make sure that they're protected. And when they're inside here, if it does start raining, just to be safe, because we'll be getting some storms, y'all. Like, a lot of rain um, but then that way they're not stuck in the elements and like in this space 
when it does rain, it does get wet at the bottom. So we want to make sure that they're, they're safe even with the roof. Um, or we may just expand the roof. We'll see. But yeah. And here goes Egypt and Achilles. About to give Frankie her breakfast. Even if the sky's falling, and then she's going to let Zeus out. We're going to get to this project, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear y'all over there. Right, Frankie? Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. the roof it has some texture i don't know if you can kind of see it, but it has some cool roofs so we just went through there was a lot of paint like right here <laughs> um but just sanding it to where it'll be easier for us to paint and the cool thing is this part of the home was already it's not bad but sa is making sure right sa we don't miss no spots huh <laughs> she's on it y'all and egypt it's almost done with this side here. Okay guys, so we are about to blow off all the stuff that we just got off of the chicken coop thing right here. So, let's get to it. When nothing's right majority of the black part black that we want which is going to be like the roof and then Egypt's doing the roof and I'm going to go back and touch up like you can see there's areas like right here where she don't want to get too close because she don't want to get too much black on the white but I'll go back and touch up those with some smaller brushes that I have so far it's looking good you want to paint? She really does. Yeah, I know. She wants to paint so bad. We're going to let her do something that... She won't mess up that much. <laughs> yes. But we definitely want her to help us. Memories. And now Sahara Jade is happy. Because look at her. She's helping paint the pieces that we're going to add to make sure the gossing are protected whenever it rains. We don't want them getting drenched because all it's gonna do, they're gonna get soaked and their legs right now cannot support that much water on them. So we don't want them to be getting wet. And then this is the front so far. There are some little small sections, y'all, <laughs> that we're gonna have to come back. I'm gonna get my actual paint brushes that we use for paintings and come in here because this is like a really small spot right there. Um, that way we can get every little nook and cranny. So, yep, it's going pretty good. Are you having fun, SJ? Yeah. The whole time, y'all, she was begging us to help us paint. So 
so I know she's happy. You got a doctor's appointment. <laughs> Yay. Can I go the doctor? Yeah. Maybe the doctor will give you a cookie. We'll see. The and she has to get shots today, y'all. So I'm just saying she does. Get a shot and cry. You're going to be a big girl. You might cry a little bit. Last time she was <laughs> yeah, she was a, she was younger, but no one really likes shots. y'all so you just saw me using the uh, nail gun to reposition and nail down the roof so feel really good about that Tucker's over here checking out checking out our work to see how we're doing all right we're about to run over here and see if we could get it set up y'all we have Egypt over here with the Gosling still and they're over here enjoying this grass and then, oh, someone left a comment about this before. So you see this light right here? It shines up on our flag at night because that's, uh, I don't know if it's a law, but I'm gonna say by law, the, the flag has to be lit. So that's why we have the light there. But yeah, um, over here, I went to Tractor Supply earlier and I bought this waterer. I also bought this bowl that could be used for water for them right now at their size. And then we already have a feeder, so. Woo. All right, y'all, about to get this all set up. So just to explain what's gonna happen is we're gonna take the chicken house and move it into Frankie's pen because that's where we would love the Goslings to live because it'll make it just easier for us as we, uh, whenever we find a bigger pool for Frankie, that'd be just one pool or two pools to fill up. All the pools would be in there with Frankie. Um, and if the Gosslings live there, it'd be ideal. So in order to achieve that, we're gonna take these T-posts that of course y'all know we had to paint black to match the house, right? And everything else. And we're gonna create a bigger or larger run for them utilizing these cattle panel. Um, and we're just gonna rotate them throughout Frankie's pasture. And uh, as y'all know, Frankie, Frankie has some tall grass in there, so more than enough for them to eat. And of course, their diet's gonna be supplemented. What else, what, what are we gonna put in there for them to eat, Egypt? Chick starter. Yep, yep, but we're not gonna use the chick starter. We have, um, the chick starters for the chicks, we have something else that we bought for them that uh, is gonna help them out, so. I'll put that up on screen, what we're using. Are y'all ready for cuteness overload? <laughs> Look at them. This is their first time being outside. p.m. and Egypt decided to come in the shop because those bugs came out, honey. <laughs> it bit me up while I was standing there. Yeah, so she came out 
but she came back in the, she came in the shop and of course they followed her in here and now we are ready to bring them to their new little home for the time being and y'all some people might say we're crazy but you know we started this around 12 p.m and with the littles we have to take some breaks we had sj's appointment and then Farrah got to eat so we took some intermittents but we are all done now and we're completionists so we definitely wanted to get it done today <laughs> Oh my goodness. Your turn, little. They flew. Yeah, I know we like us a clean station while Nico was out there putting the post in. EJ and I cleaned up out here. Babe's putting some water for the water. We're gonna have two, one in there with them in the in, one that's enclosed. And then when they're out in the little pen during the daytime, we have this one for them. Just make sure they have enough water. And the girls are like, ooh, what y'all doing? <laughs> Look at them. Always thinking we have snacks. Those like Valentine. snacks. Valentine's like, ooh, what are those? Are those snacks? All right, y'all, so they are in there. It's crazy how tall they are. They're probably at least almost a foot tall. Probably. What would you say, Mom? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they have water in there. Over here, they have food. Um, the ramp is in there. So they could, you see the ramp going right there? They could get up there into this top part if they wanted um but we have it fully enclosed i have this right here so this little opening right here they can't get out of same thing on this side yeah just until they're big enough this run y'all is fairly large so that's going to be the opening that's like our door that we're going to shut with these right here one on the top one on the bottom just pull this in, secure it right there, unlatch it when we want to get in. Tomorrow, Mama and Egypt are going to come uh, let them out. And they'll have all this grass out here. And we're just going to rotate them throughout this pen with Frankie. So overall, I feel good about how this turned out, y'all. feel really good about how this turned out. And now they're out on pasture, which is great for them. Yeah. And I know some people were asking about temperature and we live in Florida. Yeah. So it's hot. It's mm -hmm. still hot right now. We're all sweating. Yeah. No need for a heat lamp. If the weather is uh, extremely bad in either direction, we'll just bring them in the house. But we feel good about where the temperature and everything currently is so we don't think there will be any issues no issues at all y'all it's been a long day it's 10 o'clock at night but we got it done and i think natalie said this earlier but we're completionist we like to finish things ideally when we start them um we don't rush to completion but I literally will lose sleep at night if I'm like, oh man, I need to do this, I need to do that the next day. Just get it done. That's just our thing. <laughs> but uh, ooh, I would say Florida is the only place you could sweat at night, but we just got back from Alabama and I'm pretty sure they deal with the same thing. Um, yeah, look, my hair is, it was slick and now it's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. But yeah, yeah, let us know down below. What do y'all think about that plan for the goslings? Um, rotating them throughout Frankie's pasture. And then once they're big enough, um, Frankie should be used to them and they could just be free in there 
They'll have a pool, food, which is all the grass they want, all the weeds they want. They, they'll be supplemented with other feed as well. Uh, what do y'all what do y'all think about that? Um, what do you think about putting them out here in Florida this early? So one of the things that I noticed the last week with the gosling, they don't sleep or like to hang out under the heat lamp. However, the chicks still do. So like the chicks will still be huddled under there. Um, I don't know if it's just because they're smaller, but they still need the heat. And the gosling are like, we're fine. Um, so they have not been underneath it. So I feel good with them being out here. Um, another thing that we did was talk to some of the people who are in the area um, through different platforms, some people that we know, some people I just was like searching the web to make sure it wasn't too premature based on where we live at in Florida. Um, and this is around the age when they're able to at this time of the year. Now if it was in like the winter time, no, we would have to keep them in because it does get a little bit cooler at night. Um, but right now it's been fine. And if it does rain, or the temperatures do drop, we will bring them in. We'll bring them into the barn, put a heat lamp. Um, we can put them in one of the stalls or we'll just bring them back into the house. Yeah. They'll, they'll be fine. Um, they can come in our sunroom, but just to make sure that they're, they're good. And we have not put the panels on there yet to protect them from the rain. It's not supposed to rain um, within the next 24 hours, but we will put them on tomorrow evening because it is supposed to rain tomorrow night. Um, the good thing is I am home <laughs> for the next couple months. So if it does start raining, I'm gonna just have to run out there and make sure they're good. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I feel, I feel good about it. Um, they seem really happy to be outside and I think it'll give them a chance to kind of connect with Frankie. So when we do let them free, Frankie is not how she is like with the goats, like what you doing in here? Um, I think she'll be more used to them and feel a little bit more secure. Yeah. Yeah. So we feel really good about it. Also, um, you know, in one of the uh, just farm chat videos I've done, I talked about utilizing your local resources. So when I was at the feed store earlier, I ran into someone that um, raises geese. And once I found out they had geese, I just started picking their brain. And obviously they're local to our environment, right? They're part of our community. So their advice helps me here where I live. So my advice is pick the brains of people at the feed store. Like there's so much wisdom there. Like if you're there shopping for pig feed and you see someone picking up pig feed and you have a question, ask them. You'll be surprised how many people um, are willing to share and how they brighten up when asked questions. So, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there as well. Um, and I just stopped swinging. So if the swinging was giving you motion sickness, I'm sorry. The bed is just so comfortable. It's a, a twin size bed we have here if you're a new viewer, so. I stopped swinging. Don't don't get on me in the comments. It should be still now. All right, y'all. So Natalie and I did set a goal that at 10,000 subscribers, we're going to start going live. And that's when we're going to answer a lot of the questions that have been um, sent in to us. So um, just want to throw that out there. That's the goal we've set. And that's what we're working towards. Uh, what else, mom? Oh, why yes, did the, yeah, the video started early and now it's 10 o'clock at night? Why? Yeah, I know I mentioned it in some of the footage. I took when the girls and I were painting. Um, SJA had to go, she turned four, so she had to go and get some of her shots. Um, yeah. And she did great, She she's tough. Um, and Nico had the pleasure of holding her um, during the shots. And I was like, is he gonna shed a tear? Um, but she did really well, she didn't, um, she said, oh, it hurts. But then after that, she was fine. We went and got some ramen and she was happy because she loves her some good noodles. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, she did, she did great. Yeah, yeah. So it was supposed to be four shots, but the way they have vaccines nowadays, they were able to do it in two shots. Um, and she didn't cry or shed a single tear, y'all. So yeah. super duper proud of her. And what I really like about the pediatrician that we found here, um, she is not, what's the word? Like, I don't feel like, like she's pushy. So when she talks to us about different things, she'll answer our questions that we have about stuff. So it makes me feel more secure as a parent versus sometimes you go and they're like, pew, pew, pew. don't even tell you what they're giving your kids. Um, but yeah, and she's the one that we take for Pharaoh. Um, so we're happy that they were able to take Sahara and see her as a new patient. So, yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. It's been a long day for us. I have to go edit the video now and uh, get ready for work tomorrow as well. Shower, all that good stuff. So y'all have a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time you're watching this video. And we will see y'all next time.
Peace.